This mod review is brought to you by the Farmer Klein YouTube channel. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Guys, once again today we have a pair of mods. Uh, we have a Kamaz uh, truck pack and a Kamaz hook lift pack. Both of these are by the same mod author, and both of these can be found over at modhoster.com. So these are quite interesting trucks and they have their own unique features uh, that I really wanted to show off to you guys plus they are big they are beastly they are powerful and well if you're playing on one of those uh, Eastern European maps um, well I think they would fit quite well so let's first take a look at these things in the shop so if we go to vehicles first off we have the Kamaz 65228 pack this is the uh, vehicle pack. It has three different trucks. This is the bigger truck set of the two packs. We have a semi truck here, rear axles, one front axle, $74,000, 535 horsepower. Change the main color, whatever we want. Then we have some design options standard front. Front with kind of a uh, sun guard and some beacons on the top and we've got a radio antenna and then some little pendants there in the window back to plane we have wheel set up got kind of these locking I guess this is kind of like a locking differential locking hub um, type deal there and knobby old tires or we could go with or traditional knobby tires I don't really know what you want to call those, and I definitely don't know what that says. Then we have engine set up. We have the Cummins QSX, QSX 15600. Now this says 535 horsepower. I don't know what the 600 is supposed to represent. And when we add this engine to it, our horsepower doesn't change, but our price sure does. So I'm not really sure what's going on with that. I think when you see what other features this truck has to offer I think you'd overlook this little issue with respect to the engine setup then we have a two front axle two rear axles two front axles obviously do the steering and this is still in a semi variety change the main color we have the same general configuration options here on the front and the same tire choices and we have the same engine choices, but this particular truck is listed at 600 horsepower, base $85,000 to buy, $4,335 to lease, 850 per day, and $1,785 per operating hour. Then we go to a longer version of that other truck we looked at with the two front axles, except this one is a hook lift variety. Okay. Same 600 horsepower, same configurations as all the others. Change the color should we wish to. $92,200 if we change its color. $4,702 to lease. $922 per day and $1,936 per operating hour. That is that truck pack. Then if we go here to trucks, we have smaller sibling to those trucks this is kind of more of the um, domesticated version maybe not the uh, robust possibly military type version of the ability to change color and that is about all the configuration options we have on this particular hook, hook lift truck 400 horsepower like 350 liters of fuel capacity the other trucks we looked at had a thousand liter fuel capacity Thirteen hundred or thirteen thousand and seven hundred dollars to buy. After we put a spray paint job on there, six hundred ninety-eight dollars to lease, one hundred thirty-seven per day, and two hundred eighty-seven dollars per operating hour. Now this particular truck pack includes a hook lift trailer, 
right here. It's hook lift trailer. There are no configuration options on this thing. It is just a bare metals hook lift trailer. It's the minimum of what you need to do in order to uh, basically hook a hook lift. Now it is pretty cheap, seven thousand dollars, three hundred fifty-seven per day, seventy dollars or three hundred seventy. Oh, three hundred and fifty-seven dollars to lease, seventy dollars per day, and one hundred and forty-seven dollars hour. Let's take a look at some of these things. First, let's start out with our little little truck. Let's take a look on the inside. You have illuminated gas. Illuminated gauges. We have animated gauges. We don't have animated pedals of any sort, but it's other than that, it's a very clean interior. We have animated flaps, mud flaps on the back. First lights, brake lights on the back. Left and right blinkers back now we went ahead and got a couple IT runner modules so we'd hook up to this see how well they hooked up now see and rotate road train these two together are right, looking at that let's take a look at our front headlights First stage, second stage, go. So it is a little tight, but it does look like the trailer tongue is long enough. Allow us to double these up. reason I wanted to haul two is I wanted to do a little pull test. Pull on up here to our fill silo. And let's put let's put wheat in the bin. Now you will notice that we have a left mouse button and a right mouse button option. We do a left mouse button and we move left and right. Open and close our door here. And if we right mouse button, left and right, we can open and close our passenger door. This particular truck. Here we go. We're gonna have ninety thousand <coughs> ninety thousand liters of wheat here in a moment. And let's see how this thing pulls it up the hill, drives it around. Or it's handling it fairly well. We are bogging down, but we did start from scratch. So nothing there. Holding its own at 10 miles per hour. I think if we had any sort of momentum going into that hill, we wouldn't have bogged down nearly as bad. Looks like that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and drive on up here to the um, what is it, the restaurant or uh, the ranch, whatever this place is up here. And that there's a 
it's an incline that we have to go up. With a interesting test. It's not doing too terrible bad of a job, but it definitely is getting bogged down a bit. All right, so what we're going to do is go ahead and cut that off. Let's jump back down here to the shop and take a look at these other trucks. Let's go ahead and Hop on in this one. Take a look at our front headlights. Animated radiator fan in there. Nice and bright yellow. Front stage, second stage, third stage. Now we are seeing, I am seeing a little bit of square, square lights around the actual headlights. So that's telling me that these aren't quite properly configured for Farm Sim 19 lights. Earth lights. Brake lights. Four ways left and right. Now I'm not seeing the same squares on the rear. But the rear lights are configured right. The front lights may be a little misconfigured. There were flaps, mud flaps on there also. And this thing has a bit of a trick I want to show you once we get in app. So let's go ahead and jump on in here. See we have the same illuminated dash. This time it's kind of a uh, purple hue. Same animated gauges. Same general overall interior as the other truck. But let's take a look at what the left mouse button, the right mouse button do this time around. Left mouse button and we go up and down. And our mirror, that's right, we have we have adjustable mirrors on this truck. Oh, that looks pretty good. Go over here, right mouse button, and adjust this mirror. That looks pretty good. There you go, guys. That's that's the big trick of this truck pack. That is mirrors. Take this and let's do the same. Let's do the same setup as we did with the other truck. See how well this one takes it. Go ahead and get our trailer here. Let's get two of these containers. And I've got the semi over there set up with the pace setter, and it's got 60,000 liters of wheat. See how well that one hauls. This one has more power than the uh, smaller truck that we looked at. Should be able to take this hill out any sort of issue. Start from a dead stop. Or we got up to, uh, we got bogged down to 10 miles per hour. 90,000 liters. We got 60,000 liters of seed. Sorry, I got 60,000 liters of seed in this one. This one is taking the hill much, much better. 
can't fathom the seed weighs a whole lot less than wheat does. At any rate, this one with 535 horsepower does seem to be a pretty good job. truck here trailer so while we're hooking all this up let me know guys what do you think of this truck pack what do you think of the other truck pack from earlier this week in fact let me know what do you think of, of the rest of the mods that we did this week kind of an interesting batch I'd say Definitely different than the uh, batch I brought you last week. No. so we have the same fill type from our other test I have no doubt that this truck will do a much better job hauling it but we got an icon on our dash telling us that we have a load of a trailer You're out there. Twelve miles per hour, eleven, ten, nine. Huh. We're actually getting bogged down a little bit more than we did with the other truck. Maybe it's because this truck is a bit heavier in itself. Catching up speed. Now the power in the truck is showing. All right, well, that was a pretty good deal pulling up that up the hill from a standstill. Seems to be doing a pretty good job holding the stability. This particular module can be quite top heavy. And let me know what you think of the Kamaz. I don't even know how to say this right. Kamaz 65228 truck pack and the hook lift pack of the same brand truck. Both of these mods can be found over at modhoster.com. And until next time, happy farming.